This is a demonstration of how Akron's game engine, Resequence, handles the grandfather paradox. For this video, we have specifically tuned time waves and build times to make the grandfather paradox easy to show quickly. Remember that paradoxes like this are rare in actual gameplay, unless you cause them intentionally. In this demo, you will see the oscillations of both outcomes of the paradox on the timeline and on the field. We begin by creating a mech with the factory. Note that the green on the timeline shows when the mech was created. We now send this mech to before it was created. The yellow on the timeline denotes chrono porting. We create the paradox by destroying the factory with the mech. The red on the timeline shows the destruction of the factory. As you look at the timeline, you see that each subsequent time wave grabs the previous chain and propagates it forward. Now that the factory is destroyed in the past, the mech can no longer be created. Since the mech was no longer created, it could not travel back in time to destroy the factory, so the factory can again build the mech. You can see this oscillation repeating in the timeline as it gets closer and closer to falling off. Looking at the field, you will notice that these subsequent time waves keep changing the outcome, alternating between the two paradox states, with either the factory surviving or the mech surviving. If the mech jumping to the past is the last event to be propagated by a time wave, then the factory will survive because the mech will have jumped beyond the edge of the timeline. In this example, you see that the factory survived. We will now repeat this paradox again with different timings such that the mech will survive instead. Note that this is a very advanced tactic and that attempting this in actual gameplay with complex paradoxes is risky because your opponents can potentially disrupt the timing. As these oscillating events fall off the timeline, if the destruction of the factory is the last event to be propagated by a time wave, then the mech will survive and the factory will not. Now let's wait for this outcome. All paradoxes in Akron are resolved via this oscillation mechanism that locks into a state as the events reach the edge of the timeline. As you see, the result of this instance of the grandfather paradox was resolved with the mech surviving and the factory being destroyed. For further information on paradoxes, please see our frequently asked questions on akrongame.com.